Welcome to Trading Up Special Edition, where we give you an inside look at job opportunities and the possibility to trade up your lifestyle. Probably one of the toughest decisions we make is what career path to follow. Whether fresh out of high school or already in a career that isn't quite what you expected, or perhaps facing a job loss. What are your options? You could just immediately enter the workforce. Many today are hiring with no experience necessary. Maybe a four or more year college degree is your path to a chosen profession. Or yet, another option is to get trained by and learn from the best at Toledo Public Schools Career Tech, a place where you can unlock your future. You won't just settle for an average run of the mill job. You'll be preparing for a great and rewarding career. Fantastic instructors provide both expert instruction in the classroom and comprehensive hands-on activities in the shop training you for your career of choice. On this episode of Trading Up Special Edition, we're heading to Toledo Public Schools Career Tech to learn more about the classes in their manufacturing program. We'll meet several instructors and students at Toledo Public Schools to hear their opinions on the program and what opportunities those classes provide. Offering both advanced manufacturing at multiple locations and welding, Toledo Public Schools has a career path for you. My name is David Dowling. I am the career tech instructor here at Joseph Wakeman Scott High School. So a student enrolled in Scott's Advanced Manufacturing and Machining Program has the opportunity to participate in several different areas. Uh, they can get a lot of different industry recognized credentials including their OSHA 10, their NIMS measurement materials and safety, and here recently we've added the Universal Robotics Core Training uh, credential to that list. Additionally, students have a benefit of being able to enroll in our College Credit Plus program of our partnership with Owens. So the student who is enrolled in this program gets to practice hands-on in the machine trades industry, but they also get preparation and knowledge towards all types of skilled trades in the forms of measurement materials and safety related practice and certification. Uh, we are a machine shop at our core, so they get to learn basic machining principles, operation of manual turning machines and lathes, operation of manual milling machines. My name is Duran Jackson, I attend Scott High School, and I'm in Mr. Dowden's class, Advanced Manufacturing. A typical class day for me is usually being in the classroom, working on assignments on my computer, but like 30% of our work comes from in the lab, milling, Laid work, sewing, and stuff like that. This is a CNC vertical mill, and I was doing a three hole block project. And you basically just program it to go to every spot you need to create a new hole. We start off tapping, you know, we have our middle touches, then we have our finishing touches. And they do get to start the introductory level of programming of CNC equipment like our Haas milling machine here. So students get introductory skills in the CNC machining and programming fields. Now, and start to sweep the hole. Now and they go into your, I think there's a shortcut button that's called. We also have track CNC here in the lab and students get to practice on both of those types of equipment. Um, students get a, the opportunity to participate in different activities related to those. They make a wide variety of projects on those machines. Kids like to make a nameplate for either their office or their parents' office. A lot of times kids will do it for Mother's Day or Father's Day. My name is Rashari Brazil. Um, we are at Scott High School. I was engraving a nameplate. I basically put in a program, put in your X and your Y's, and then you start engraving it. Once it's all finished, it'll look really good. And then that comes with a nice uh, 3D printed desk stand, so it sits right there on the desk for uh, anybody to use. I think about our class of 24 right now, and uh, we have uh, one student, Mr. Duran Jackson, he's going to be enrolled in Lincoln Technical College next year, so he's going right into a CNC machining uh, career pathway. With the skill that I'm going with, I can go get different, different jobs through the country, milling, lathe, sawing, stuff like that. The start off pay is probably pretty good. You know, I looked into it, it's nothing less than, I want to say, 21 an hour. That's just, I'm pretty sure that's just start off pay. Uh, we have Mr. Tim Rickenberg. He's actually going to join the uh, United States Marine Corps, so he wants to do military service. When I graduate high school, I'm going to go into either operating engineering or pipe fitting. We try to help our students not just in machining uh, program pathways, but also in other skilled trades program pathways if that's something they're interested in. One thing in the future I will say is I would be a teacher. It's like I'm giving back to um, people who was in the same position as me or people who are looking to be in the same position. 
I think here at Scott Advanced Manufacturing, at the Career Tech Department, we're about our money. In here, you're not just learning in a classroom environment for a potential job way down the road. We have opportunities for students right now. So if a student is on track to graduate, they can go out for a paid internship their senior year and they can start to accumulate real uh, world experience in their employment role and set themselves up for their next career step just as soon as they graduate. I didn't go here all four years, you know, I was a student coming out of a different, whole different school. I got put in this class and I felt the connection that it was opportunity in the classroom and I stayed in there for my junior year. Now I'm a senior and I have a whole bunch of opportunity. As long as you are motivated to learn, we can provide you with the rest. We have all the curriculum tools to help a student grow as much as they can within their potential and then help them find an opportunity both during their senior year and after graduation through work-based learning opportunities. Coming up on Trading Up Special Edition, We'll head to Toledo Public Schools Start High School to hear more about the advanced manufacturing class offered there and see what that location's class provides. More hands-on learning awaits. We'll be back right after this. Would you like a good paying career right out of high school? TPS Career Tech's manufacturing program offers hands-on classes that will help ignite your future. From advanced manufacturing at both Scott High School and Start High School, TPS Career Tech has an option for you. And if you like working with fire and electricity, welding classes are offered over at Waite High School. Your future awaits at TPS Career Tech. For more information and to sign up, visit tpscareertech.com. Get expert tech advice and service for your devices at the all-new Buckeye Brainiac Tech Hub. No Buckeye account needed. Trust Buckeye Brainiacs with computer repairs and upgrades, virus removal and protection, and tech support. You can also get help with your Buckeye Broadband account from our customer care associates. Stop into one of our locations today. Welcome back. Your path to a great career begins the first day you start class at TPS Career Tech. Not only are you given hands-on expert instruction, but you're also given the tools necessary to start a fulfilling career. Let's learn a bit more about TPS Career Tech's manufacturing program. In this segment, we're visiting the advanced manufacturing class at Start High School. Hi, I'm Carl Borco. This is advanced manufacturing program here at Start High School. This program is based primarily on metal machining work, 
where not only do we teach the kids how to do things on manual machines like manual milling machines and manual lathes and drill presses, but now they also learn how to program parts in computer numerically controlled machinery. They also learn to draw parts in something called MasterCAM. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. I'm Alexa Noel. This is Advanced Manufacturing at Start High School. A typical day here is we're either in the lab and we start making on our parts and going through that, or we're in the classroom uh, working on programs for our parts. This machine behind me, we're able to uh, put in coordinates and have exact measurements and cutouts for uh, metal pieces to make whatever you desire. This machine here, I have programmed exact coordinates for this plate here, and this will just go straight to where I need it to cut holes. Then over here we have the lathe. We use this machine, you can do almost about anything from like jewelry to tools, we can use this to thread materials, uh, cut them for uh, anything we may need. The ideal candidate should have some kind of decent background in mathematics, geometry and trigonometry. The other skills that they would need is a good, good work ethic and they need to be on time every single day. I feel hands-on is pretty important. Definitely for me, it's something that I can come to this class after sitting at a desk and come here and work with materials instead of just doing pen to paper. It's different than your average class experience. All we're trying to do is instill them the needs of industry and any jobs in the marketplace for that matter. With this class, you get many opportunities into like internships, Every internship that we send our students out into is a paid internship with an average about $13 to $14 an hour. And what's important about that, of course, is they get out there and they mingle with the people that are doing this kind of work every day. So it's important that they get out there and, and do their internships. If they're lucky, the place they intern at will offer them a job straight away and even offer to help pay them for their college tuition if they so desire. The myth of having to graduate school and go straight to college is just that now, it is now a myth. If you pay any attention to the great micro of the Dirty Jobs program, you'll find out that the average age of anybody in industrial manufacturing right now is 58 years old. So that being said, we need the younger people to get more involved in what we're doing here. The pay rate is incredible. Straight out of high school, you can get a nice starting pay around $15 an hour. And just from that, that's your baseline. And then from there, it's more money. Well, the longer you do it, the more you learn and the more you're able to uh, get. Just to walk in the door and push buttons on a machine like this one without even knowing how it works, that's about $17, $18 an hour in a lot of facilities. If you know how the machine works and you can program it, now you're looking at about $25 to $30 an hour and it just gets better and better after that. After school, I'm gonna get an internship at Haas Metal Coatings and going to UT for engineering. Being a female in this class, I feel I can pave the way for more uh, women in this industry to show them that women can do it just like men and that there's something for everyone in this job field. I have about five or six students over the last five years that are all working in this trade right now as we speak. I had one that just uh, was promoted as a manager at a local facility. And money, money, money speaks louder to these kids than anything else. This young man at the age of 23 is pulling down close to $70,000 a year. That's what I try to instill in the younger people, like our juniors and seniors. And I also have some of those employees from the past come in. We have a little bit of a round table, and I have my current students ask them any question that they have on their mind about how they became a success. We're also partnered with uh, Owens Community College. We have something called the College Credit Plus program, whereas if you take my three core industrial classes starting your sophomore year, junior, and senior years, you will get up to three credit hours to go toward a degree at Owens Community College. And Owens is a great place. They have the new Dana Center set up over there for engineering technologies and manufacturing. You can get a lot of certifications over there and a lot of local companies 
send a lot of their employees there for training. In essence, you're getting the same training those employees are getting uh, for free. One of the things that I instill in all of my students is, if you come in this class and you make an honest effort and really try, it is impossible to fail this course. And with this knowledge, you can go out into the job field and tell them, hey, I know how to work on a CNC machine and that that can get you a job. For anyone looking to join this class, it's a nice hands-on experience. It's not your typical classroom. You come in here and you actually learn things that you may want to do in the future and start that career path for you. So please take advantage. I'm not getting you a job, I'm giving you a career. Next on Trading Up Special Edition, Moving on from advanced manufacturing, we're gearing up and heading to the welding class over at Waite High School to hear about that class and what career paths it offers. We'll be back right after this. We're here for you, right around the corner, ready to serve, connecting our homes, our schools, and our local businesses. With 24-7 help from experts and technicians who understand the value of service, because our customers are also our neighbors. So we'll do whatever it takes every day to make sure you stay connected when it counts. Buckeye Broadband. Welcome back. Toledo Public Schools Career Tech gets fired. In this segment, we're visiting the welding class held at Waite High School. Let's head to the shop and see what career paths this class provides. So my name is Zachary Kowicki. This is Waite High School and this is the welding program for career technologies. So we start sophomore year learning about metallurgy, measurements, safety, things like that. And then we move into our junior and senior classes, which every semester we focus on a particular welding process. So we start with MIG welding, GMAW, then we move into stick welding, SMAW, flux core, FCAW, and then we move into TIG welding, which is GTAW, beginning of their senior year. A typical day for the students, depending on their grade level, they either have a one hour, two hour, or three hour block class. So sophomores come in and we usually try to do a couple of days of classroom work and a couple of days of lab work um, every week. The juniors and seniors, they will get classroom and lab work every single day. My name is Clayton Haney. We're at the welding program at White High School. The program in general is great. I've been here since the beginning of the year. I tend to do it next year for my senior year. We're in the classroom for about 15, 20 minutes. He just goes over like what we do for the day and then we come down to the booth for the remaining two hours. PPE, he goes over that every day. That's uh, proper protective equipment. 
Uh, we're wearing gloves, these jackets, we're wearing our safety glasses, our welding hoods, just anything that uh, protects us from the sparks and the, uh, the heat from the weld. A welding hood has the shade from 9 to 13. You change the shade depending on how uh, strong or weak your eyes are, and that prevents the, uh, the arc, which is the flash from the weld. Every single class, I try to get them started on projects as soon as possible. Today, I cut a background piece for the sign I'm making for my mom. I used the uh, CNC plasma cutter to cut them both out, and then I just finished painting them. My name is Jeremy Jersky. I'm here with uh, Wade High School with the welding program. But right now, I just finished my project, so I'm just, uh, just welding, just laying down beads, you know? I mean, I, I think my skill's pretty good right now, but yeah, I'm just, you know, practicing getting it down, you know, making sure the welds are straight and sufficient. Ideal candidate for this program is somebody that does not mind sparks, playing with fire, doesn't mind getting dirty, has a good work ethic that's gonna show up every single day on time. Mr. K, he's a phenomenal teacher. Meeting him at the beginning of the year, it was great. He's, he's well instructed, he knows what he's doing, so he helps out a lot. Two years ago, I had a student who uh, was in a relatively rough spot, graduated, took this class to heart, and now she is out in the field working as a TIG welder, making $22 an hour. She's doing really well from where she came from. But that's the kind of students that we're looking for in this class, are the ones that really want to be the kids that have seen some stuff and they know that this is a vehicle that they can use to improve their life over the course of the rest of their life. My future plans are to come back next year for a senior year, get the certifications I need, and then hopefully this summer get my scuba certs and I'm hoping to do underwater welding. Underwater welding is one of the dangerous jobs right now going on. There's a lot of pay for that. You're on a oil rig or whatever for a couple months and it's tax free. When you graduate from the welding program, you have an intrinsic skill that will last you the rest of your life. You have the ability to join any of the local unions, any private industry, and translate those skills into a incredibly lucrative career. And again, it's not just a job. It is a career that will last you the rest of your life. So right now I'm playing football. I'm hoping that that goes well for me, but if not, this is definitely a great backup, you know? Welding is like riding a bike. You'll never forget the process, even if you don't use it for a couple of years. You might be able to pick it up two, three, four, five years later, and you'll still understand all the stuff that you learned while you're in this class. If so, I would like to go weld in like North Dakota or something. That'd be really nice. I would like it because you gotta think, say you're welding up there, you know, you can look at the water, look at whatever's around, you know. It's just a nice landscape, you know. Great paying, good benefits, awesome retirements are out there and waiting. There are uh, at least a dozen different organizations in and around Northwest Ohio that are begging welders and fabricators and machinists to come out and actually uh, work for them and pay them very handsomely to do so. For anyone that is interested in taking a uh, look at the welding class. There's a lot of things in life you can do, like underwater welding, local 33, local 50. You know, there's, there's no border, really. There's a lot you can do. And you definitely make a lot of money. Definitely give it a shot. Even if you're not uh, willing to weld in the future, it gives you another opportunity to, to take on in life. You have something under your belt that you know how to do. If you like playing with fire and electricity, you don't mind getting dirty, we have a lot of fun in this class. Would you like a good paying career right out of high school? TPS Career Tech's manufacturing program offers hands-on classes that will help ignite your future. From advanced manufacturing at both Scott High School and Start High School, TPS Career Tech has an option for you. And if you like working with fire and electricity, welding classes are offered over at Waite High School. Your future awaits at TPS Career Tech. For more information and to sign up, visit tpscareertech.com.
Get expert tech advice and service for your devices at the all-new Buckeye Brainiac Tech Hub. No Buckeye account needed. Trust Buckeye Brainiacs with computer repairs and upgrades, virus removal and protection, and tech support. You can also get help with your Buckeye Broadband account from our customer care associates. Stop into one of our locations today. So, what do you think? Does attending one of the TPS Career Tech's manufacturing programs classes sound like a winning move to you? If you like to work with your hands, are career focused, and ready to learn, TPS Career Tech is the right place for you. With advanced manufacturing classes and welding, a great career path is right around the corner. For more information and to sign up, head to www.tpscareertech.com. If you're a parent or a guardian out there and you just don't know where to send your child to, send them to a career tech program because the jobs are numerous and the opportunities that are out there is just beyond the scope of anything I did ever imagined. I am a big fan of TPS's career tech programs. All of the instructors are incredibly knowledgeable in their subject matter. They are passionate about teaching kids and pass the information that we've learned down to another generation of builders and makers. When I was in high school, I went to a college preparatory school and the line that was driven into my skull was, if you want a good job, you gotta go to college. And more recently, it has been proven that that isn't necessarily always the case. Uh, especially if everybody goes to college, who's gonna be the people that build the buildings or uh, design and build the roads or maintain the roads, make life livable for everybody in society? We still need those people. Uh, and those people are the people that come into these career tech programs and learn a trade skill and then go apply it and keep the world spinning. I will say try your best to contact your counselor and try and get in this if you have an interest in this type of stuff. Talk to your parents, talk to your relatives, ask them if they had ever learned a trade skill, if they ever wanted to learn a trade skill, and going back in time if that would be more beneficial for them. You could have a lot of benefits and also you have an opportunity to build your skill in something new and something different. If you are at Waite High School, every year we do a tour of all the career tech shops, especially for freshmen coming in. End of your sophomore year, going into junior year, you have the ability to go across the district for any of the career tech classes, including welding. Every summer we do a, uh, a summer camp, so look for those as well. I tell a bunch of my students, because as sophomores, they have the ability to go to any of the other programs as juniors and seniors uh, across the district. And I tell them, even if they don't like welding, I would rather see them in the hallway in one of the other career tech programs that they would enjoy. We get opportunities for every type of job in here. It really is the sky is the limit. Would you like a good paying career right out of high school? TPS Career Tech's manufacturing program offers hands-on classes that will help ignite your future. From advanced manufacturing at both Scott High School and Start High School, TPS Career Tech has an option for you. And if you like working with fire and electricity, welding classes are offered over at Waite High School. Your future awaits at TPS Career Tech. For more information and to sign up, visit tpscareertech.com. <laughs>